VS Code's File Exclude setting lets you control which files and folders are visible in the Explorer, and you can use this to hide specific folders that you're not interested in. To get started, I'm just going to open up the preferences here, so settings, and you can also use command comma or um, control comma on um, Linux and Windows to open this up. So I'm going to say file exclude, and you'll notice that this setting already has some default things that are being hidden. For example here, we are hiding the git folder, um, so the .git file here. Even though this is a git repository, you'll notice that in the explorer over here, that is not being shown. And there's some other common files that we are also hiding in this case. Um, but we, let's say we want to hide this node modules folder. So over here in the Explorer, we have this node modules folder. Um, we're probably really not interested in that. VS Code is even graying this out that is indicating that this file is excluded from um, Git, so it's not being tracked by source control. But let's just get rid of that completely. So over here, I'm just going to say add pattern and then say node modules. And now you can see that when I added that pattern, that folder has now been hidden. So file exclude also works with uh, glob patterns here. So when it's saying two uh, stars here, that is matching any number of path segments. And if you have a single star, that will match some characters. So let's say we, for example, wanted to exclude all JSON files here. You can just say add, add another pattern. And let's say star star slash star dot JSON. So what this is saying is that for any uh, subdirectory here, that's the star star part, match any folder that has any name that ends in dot JSON. And I'm just going to say OK. And now you can see that all the JSON files have been hidden over here. So the file exclude settings are also inherited by um, what is controlling whether or not files are available in uh, the quick open. So when I say command P and open quick open, for example, by default, the same files will also be excluded from quick open. So if I try to find like a JSON file, you'll notice that no JSON files are showing up, even though we know that there are JSON files in the VS Code repository. That is actually controlled by a separate setting called search exclude, and you can override that behavior if you want, but it's nice that um, search exclude kind of inherits these file exclude settings. File excludes is really useful if you're working on a large project or one that has a lot of generated files that you're probably not interested in, as you can really configure it so your workspace only shows the things that you care about.